the millet. That's how to transform the LT into a millet setup. Bonjour. Merci. So, millet. What did you say? Millet? Yeah, millet is a questionable outcut. Short in front, long in the back. But in mountain bike, it's also employed to describe a bike with basically a bigger wheel on the front and a smaller rear wheel because you know monster truck feel on the on the front party on the back why do i want a millet basically it's a bit like hairstyle personal preference some would prefer a smaller rear wheel on the back just to get basically more comfy on steeper stuff on more technical uh, help them to turn a little bit faster but basically keeping this 29 inch wheel on the front you know, to get this rolling, invincible monster truck uh, feeling on the front. To change your 4060, is your short travel or long travel on a mallet setup, you basically need just a few things. 27.5 rear wheels, um, boost spacing, so 148 millimeters, and just a yeah, couple of other tools and that'll do the trick. No scissor or razor needed, that's no problem. So yeah, let's go for it. We're gonna start with uh, the 4060 on the short travel configuration. So there you'll see basically the trick is super simple. So first of all, we're gonna remove the rear wheel. <laughs> we will basically change the position of the flip chip on the rear. So first of all, unscrew the Trinomon bolt. Then you can use the strap to uh, raise the rear triangle and have it better access to the lower bolts. Just need to unscrew a little bit the bolt and then push it through. And you can inverse 180 degree the flip chip by putting it in the LT position. This will help us to raise the BB and compensate with the smaller wheel. Then you can remove the strap and rebolt the trinion mount bolt. Once it's done, simply insert the new 27.5 rear wheel and the trick is done. Here you go. That's basically how you transform your short travel 4060 into a mallet setup. Now we get the bike into the LT configuration, so we're gonna do the same principle, basically show you how to transform it into a mallet. 27 and a half. So basically for the rear, it's done. So replacing the uh, 29 inch wheels by the 27 and a half. The shock mount, as it's a LT, it's already on the LT position, so that's final, no need to touch. Then the last bit is basically on the angle set. You have, as you know, on our bike, basically two sides for the headset cap. Here is on a completely slack one, but basically we wouldn't recommend to ride it like this. What we're gonna do is inverse the side of the headset cap to put it a little bit more onto the steep position. That would feel way better on the mallet position. So let's go for it. So first of all, we're gonna remove the front wheel. Then we're gonna disassemble the bike as you would do it normally to change a fork. Remove the whole cockpit and the fork completely from the frame. Then we're gonna use an extractor to remove both headset cap. We were in the slacker versions and then we're gonna flip it. For the steep mode, the notch needs to be facing backward. Please use a rubber mallet or a headset press to insert the caps. Don't forget to turn the upper cup too.
And here you go. That's how to transform the LT into a mallet setup. Fully ready to ride and tackle. So enjoy the party on the back now.